Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to read pages 175 to 177 today, and you guys are going to read 170 and 180. Make sure to look back into the text for the answers. Best of luck. The quick grab was my last step. Boom. All of a sudden, I was in big, big trouble. The rocky ground under my feet started sliding away from the shore. I didn't get nervous because I knew I could flap my arms like, a tur like the turtle and get back to the dirt. I looked up and saw the shore was still real close. I flapped my arms and nothing happened. I stayed in the same spot. Then the rocks under my feet were gone and I was kicking in water. With the tips of my toes, I could still brush some of the rocks, but they were all slipping and sliding away from the shore. I pushed away to try and swim back and my head bobbed under the water. All the sound, light, and light from Alabama disappeared because my eyes automatically shut and it seemed like my ears were stuffed with cotton. I got a mouthful of water, but my head came right back up. I laughed because I was spitting and patooing a mile a minute when my head popped out of the water. But the laughing stopped real quick when I tried to swim again and my head went back under. That's when I got really scared. I'd seen enough cartoons to know when your head goes down three times, it doesn't ever come up again. I knew if I went down one more time, I was dead as a donut. My eyes looked at the shore where my shoes were sitting, safe on some rocks. Oh man, I said to myself, I wish I had a magic lamp so I could have the genie make me wear, wear those shoes are and they could be where I am. That was the last thing I thought about before I found out that Grandma Sands, Byron, and Joe Colliner weren't lying at all. That was the last thing I thought about before I found out that the wool poo, poo was real and big and mean and horrible and that he didn't care at all about dragging kids out into the water. I never ever been this scared in my life. I hollered out, Mama, my arms were punching the water like it was a person and my legs were going a mile a minute to try and get back to the shore. But now even my toes couldn't find anything to touch. Okay, Kenny, I said to myself, you know you're going to be all right. Just get real calm and swim back to the land. When you count to three, just go back to your shoes. I stopped kicking for a second and said, one, two, three. Then I gave my arms one more flat to go back to the shore and down I went again. My head went under for the third time and I knew I'd never come back up again. Going down three times like this is just like waking up finding yourself tied to a tree with someone saying, ready, aim, fire. That's when he came swimming real slow out of the deep and even though my head was underneath the dark water, I could see him coming right at me. He didn't look like he was related to Winnie the Pooh at all. He was a big... He was big, gray, and hard, square-looking fingers where he should have had a face where there was nothing but dark gray. Where he should have had eyes, there was nothing but darker, colder-looking colors. He grabbed my legs and started pulling me down. I kicked and scratched at him, and he was too strong. It seemed like he didn't feel my punches. My head felt like it was going to explode. I didn't think I could hold my breath for any uh, another second. I was feeling real, real scared and dizzy. From holding my breath this long then suddenly I could see that there was someone else in the water and the whoop the whirlpool was pulling me right towards them it was a little girl and she had real pretty blue dress big yellow wings and something tied around her head when the whirlpool pulled me closer I could see that it was it was a little girl and wait a minute it was Joetta looking just like an angel Miss Davison had given her Joey had wings and a halo her face was real calm too, but she was pointing straight up like there was something important I should look at. This angel that looked like Joey was telling me I had to swim up one more time. This really scared me. I knew it wasn't a good sign when you started seeing angels, so I kicked and flapped my arms and started going toward the sky. My head came up and I spit a belly, uh, out a belly full of water and took a couple deep breaths. Mama! Mama! Help me! But the whirlpool wasn't through with me. I felt his hard hands go around my ankle and I went down for the fourth time. I got pulled a little further and saw someone else in the water with me, kicking up a ton of dirt and scratching at the water like they were crazy. Byron. So, this is an intense moment. You gotta read the next three pages on your own. 
Best of luck. Can't wait to find out what happens.